Welcome to part 56 of the large model showman's engine. In this one I'm deciding where and how to mount the steam powered boiler feed water pump and trying out a few ideas. I've come to the conclusion that the best place for it is on the left hand side quite near to the cutout where the driver and fireman would climb onto the engine. And speaking from a driver and fireman's point of view it doesn't bother me because I will be sat on the driving truck behind the engine. From a location point of view I think this is where I'm going to put the pump. I tried holding it in a position just in front of the cutout but somehow it doesn't look right. The other benefits of having it in front of the cutout is there's somewhere to route the water and steam pipes. The other benefit of fitting the pump in this position is it's not quite as close to the main driving wheels. I unbolted the footstep and took both the pump and the footstep into the workshop. Before I start I'd like to point out one or two things about this footstep, that's the part on the right. When it's fitted to the engine it's in the wrong place, it actually fouls the winch cable. That is not my doing. It was just the way the engine was built. And here is the aforementioned footstep in a close-up view and as you can see it is not perfect. When I look closely at this I can see tool marks so all these small squares were milled out on a milling machine of some kind. Thinking about it though these may have been marks from the pattern when the part was cast. When I turn the footstep over you can see some missing paint and that's because when it's bolted in position it's very close to the main injector steam pipe. Because I've decided to mount the pump directly to the footstep the base on the pump is no good, it's too big. And for that reason I need to make a new base. To mount the pump in front of the footstep I could use the original base but I would need to make a bracket to hold it to the footstep. I never seem to have many problems making decisions, I'm definitely not a procrastinator. But I always remember, fools rush in where angels fear to tread and it's a very valid statement. How to mount the pump to one side of the footstep. I could cut this piece of substantial brass angle and use this but it looks like a substantial piece of brass angle. So that's a non-starter for me. I have some thick pieces of brass that I got from a friend of mine over in West Yorkshire. He owns an architectural fabrication business and he lets me rummage through his scrap bin periodically when I'm over there. And in case you're watching this, thanks Mick, I do appreciate it. I need to make a new base for the pump and if I mount the pump to one side like this I really am concerned. The bracket is held to the side of the engine with some M5 bolts and these are strong enough to support the bracket and the pump but maybe not if the pump is stuck out to the side. I measured the distance from the edge of the pump mounting base to the edge of the footstep and then I cut a piece to the right length. I cut the piece of brass to end up with the piece as shown here to mount on top of the footstep. Mounting a shorter base extension underneath the footstep wasn't going to be a good idea. Fairly quickly I arrived at two conclusions, the first one being that the base of the pump has to go. No time like the present, it's only held on with two long bolts and the base has been cleverly machined to clear the other four bolts in the bottom cylinder cover. My current idea is to fit a new base and fit that in turn on top of the footstep. As I showed earlier this original mounting is too long for the footstep. Besides this is the original mounting base for the pump that Don English made when he built the pump so I don't really want to destroy this, I'll put it in a box somewhere. So if ever I want to restore the pump to its original condition as I got it, I can do that. I'm going to cut another piece of brass and make a new base out of it. At this stage I haven't fully ruled out mounting the pump at one side of the footstep, but the more I looked at it the more impractical it became. I do this sort of thing quite a lot, you just see the videos, I've already thought it through by the time I start to make things, but I will sit and look at something for quite a long time and visualise the finished product. I finally come to a decision, I'm going to cut another piece of brass exactly the same width as the footstep. And it's very important that when I drill this footstep, the drill does not go through any of the ribbing. When I hold the original base in position, you can see just how wrong it is. My idea involves making a new base to suit the footstep. 
I need to carefully cut another piece of brass on the bandsaw to exactly three inches long. One idea that I had was to countersink the four holes around the lower water cylinder cover and use some 2BA countersunk machine screws to hold the cylinder cover to the cylinder, but I didn't like that idea. In this clip I'm showing them in the centre main holes, just to check that they're long enough. They are, but I still don't like the idea of using countersunk bolts. I was a bit concerned that if ever I wanted to remove the bottom cylinder cover, and if the steel countersunk bolts became rusty, they would be very difficult to remove. I'm going to machine this brass block to lighten it somewhat. But before I do that, I need to mark it out and drill some holes in it. I always work with tolerances, and this is just a tiny bit longer than three inches. Using the logic that it is always better to have too much metal because you can remove that, if you cut it too short, it's very difficult to put some back. In the next episode, I'll be showing how I made the base and fitted it to the pump. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.